Hi everybody, my name's Legend Lillian and we're back with another 60 seconds and this time I'm going to try really really hard not to kill Dolores right off the bat. Which means getting her in the bunker in the first place. Because that totally didn't happen last time. I'm also going to stick with Fat Man and not go to Little Boy because that's easy and I want to do it on my own without any like special, special guidance, I guess. Also, I tried to do it with my mouse, and I completely failed at doing it with keyboard or mouse, so I had to run and get a controller, which is working much better. Uh, oh. And she's right next to the radio, but the radio might take two hands. So we are going... Oh, yes! Got the radio. The radio is very important. Oh, that is not the bunker. That is bunkers on the other side of the house. Uh, gas mask. There's Dolores. Come on. Come on, honey. We gotta get the bunker. Water. Because that's important. I'm just destroying my entire house. I have not seen my son, which kind of worries me. I don't remember what his name was. Timmy. Timmy! I think his name was Timmy. Was his name Timmy? Come on. Pick up the gun. Pick up your son. And get to the shelter. I mean, that's really what we're going for here, right? Oh, map. 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 Oh, crap. I'm gonna get to the shelter. Ah! Okay. I completely failed. I got like no food or water. So we're gonna die. I was so focused on getting my family members and a radio that I completely forgot about food and water. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay, I guess I got a little food and water, but not much. But hey, hey, we have Dolores. And, and that's the, the victory, the real victory here, isn't it? Buttons, why aren't you working? All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. Remember, he, he, I, we remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We can't remember bringing those supplies down this shelter, but we're not complaining. We're probably, we probably should have stocked it better anyway. Yes, that's what I said last time. But we do have cards. We don't have that much food, no one's complaining yet, but even canned soup might become an extravagant, extravagant dish quite soon. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to rush. Strictly, yes. Day one, you guys can survive. Uh... I thought it'd be a great idea to have some role playing and create our own shelter theater group. We called it Thunderdome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got in a fight over it and decided it might be better to play something simpler. Yeah, probably. Maybe just stare at a wall. That'll, that seems to work. We played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Timmy is on his best behavior, but how long will that last? Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood that today. Probably because she's not dead and she's still here with us. Ted seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to sh a crappy place. You guys are fine. But we, we do have the gas mess, so I think we will go out. Uh, surviving down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this one will blow over soon. Oh, we're hopeful this will blow over soon and life will get back to what we used to be. Or else we might face dangers we never dreamt of. I mean, it did just become the apocalypse. Being stuck in a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and await rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? Water, water, water. 
you guys can last, I think, until day five without water. So you guys are fine. Um, but Mary Jane will go outside with, yeah, the gas mask. You can go get us more stuff. Mary Jane, please, 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 please. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. She took the gas mask. Timmy's in terrible shape. Dolores will need water. It looks like he needs water. Tomorrow. I promise, guys. Someone is at the door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's a friendly face of an American so so soldier. Should we open? Sure, why not? What could happen? You all could die. That's what could happen. But, oh. Or just get wounded. Whoops. Someone started shooting at us. We closed the hatch as quickly as we could, but a shot or two grazed us. Timmy's in terrible shape. Dolores will not survive. Ted needs water. Ted was hurt. Well, dang. Yeah, I didn't get a med kit or anything. Probably was. Oh, no, I didn't mean to hit that. Shoot. That was a radio out. Well. Dang it. Uh, they're all really tired. I don't blame you guys. We wish we could leave. Sitting down here without, with barely anything to do is driving us crazy. Yeah, playing cards will get boring after a while. Still, it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. There's, you have a point there. Timmy should eat something. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Ted's stomach's troubling. Sure. We plan to go to Niagara Falls and see those beautiful waterfalls. We never expect, expected to get a waterfall of our very own in our shelter. Right now it seems that half a dozen pipes burst and all the water is pouring right into our bunker. Aw, oh, dang it. I guess we have to save the radio. Or do we want to save the map? Radio or map? Radio. Map. Radio. Uh, radio. Radio seems usually more important. Usually. The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it was done the damage it done was enough to upset us cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days and what says mouth. Uh they're all thirsty. You guys are good. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase. No. The suitcase, I think, has a bum. Or, a, it's booby trapped somehow, I think. We don't need anyone else getting hurt. Right, Ted? We have no idea who left this in Nowadays, you can't trust anybody. We're not risking our lives for some supplies. They could be poisoned. We threw the gift away and quickly forgot about it. I really hope that was the right thing to do. I guess we'll see. Timmy's in terrible shape. He needs water. Yeah. Tomorrow, guys. I promise. We're about to start a book club discussion on the only book we've read. The phone book. We were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door we found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did they were doing much worse than us <laughs> ha ha hard to believe and begged us to provide them with any water food or medical supplies we could spare i can't spare anything like really nothing at all so no i feel like a horrible person but no i'm afraid not Mary Jane's back. And she brought us a lot of soup. That's a good girl, Mary Jane. We could tell our guests were not thrilled with our refusal. Their tired eyes alone were enough to, were enough to understand how much they needed those supplies. They did not beg, but simply turned around and left in an unknown direction. Maybe they will have more luck elsewhere. Maybe. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. And she brought back the gas mask unharmed. Which is good. Check it around every possible corner, even if it doesn't seem promising. Ruins of the local bank. Uh, mm. 
but was cracked open with saws hidden in teddy bears. Who does that? Anyway, we can see why they wanted to rob the place up so badly. The place was filled with tomato soup cans. Had it ended up there? Maybe the mail had, to, had it delivered to the bank instead of a food bank. But we got plus four. Cool. So this is how they guarded the place. Unacceptable. In the guard room, we found two skeletons of individuals who seemed to be playing cards when the bombs hit. Good thing we kept all of our money in a really safe place that is our special cookie jar in the kitchen. I'm sure that's still safe. The guards didn't provide much security here, but their cards will contribute to a high-quality shelter entertainment. Okay, question. How did the cards survive? I'm just putting that out there. I, why? How? Those are some highly indestructible cards if they survive a nuke. Mary Jane is starving. Timmy's in terrible shape. They all are thirsty. Mary Jane can have food. And I guess, oh my gosh, it gets out of most of our water. Ugh, I don't like that at all. <sighs> this might be a short time game. <sighs> and none of them can go out right away. Dang it. One minute was fine, and the next we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip on ourselves if we're going to survive this. Let's just sleep on it. Uh. We're done fighting, but for how long? Mary Jane's still hungry. Um, Timmy's fine. Dolores and Ted are fine. Still no one can go outside. One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed up in green to show up at your doorstep, claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. What exactly happened to us? Should we let, let those clowns in? They might provide some quality entertainment. No. They're rude ruffians. We don't want those in our shelter. Uh, we didn't answer those peculiar calls and kept the door locked well, until the noise has faded away. We're not exactly sure. We want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? They might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. Uh, jeez, Mary Jane. I know you're hungry. Um, Ted needs a med kit, but we don't have any. So... Still no one can go outside. Oh. If there's anyone who can rescue from this hellish situation, it's our government. Oh, uh, you can badmouth them all you want, but they probably means you're a naysayer <laughs> or a commie. For good citizens, we've, we've been paying our taxes. Uncle Sam will come get us. Okay. Take note of the government. We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. Uh, the soldier with a boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. So, we need to save the radio at all costs. Uh, okay, we can all eat. They, not drinking. Mostly because we don't have that much water left. Uh, still hungry. Thirsty. I'm sorry. And none of, oh, none of them can go outside. Uh, there's a very fine line when you're getting all of your supplies. Do I go for family members or do I go for supplies? And if, if I'm going for supplies, do I get food and water or like stuff like the X and the gas mask on the radio? <sighs> if you don't get enough of both, you're going to die either way. See, Mary Jane already left. And it's only two weeks in. 
Okay, when Mary Jane found out she was not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that she will regret this, and she's getting her water one way or another. Okay. It was too dangerous to randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. Ugh. Okay. Well, I guess Dolores and Timmy will get water. Ted will just have to live. Sorry, Ted. Or not live. You know, that's an option, too. Too many di days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. Oh, dang it. We played at I Spy, and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. Timmy was driven crazy. Dolores' sanity is questionable. But she's rested. She can go outside. We'll just... Ah, uh, so, okay. One of the cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky. We pulled it out to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? No idea, but let's find out. Let's shoot down it. Because we're all crazy. We still have the gun, though. Surprising. Oh, look, we got water. The first thing to do when you open a door leading to a place you don't know, open fire. Bam, bam. Our bullet struck the wall. And guess what? We had a water pipe. We were going to fill a few bottle water bottles with all the water that trickled from the bullet holes. Timmy keeps acting really weird. Weirder than usual, anyway. Dolores is quite calm. Um, a couple more days, I think. Dolores, go outside. Uh, can't you go outside and leave Timmy alone? I feel like this might end the game. Crap. Well, this game was going downhill anyway. So if it does, oh well. Oh look, Timmy's alone. Huh. Hi, Timmy. Water for Timmy would be nice. Sure, Timmy can have some water. It's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about turning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Okay. Timmy, swear, if you break this radio. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? It's great news. The file outside is mostly gone. Sure. Timmy, you're fine. Your mom will come back soon, I promise. Your dad and your sister, not so much. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when we th there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not in our heads, anyway. What we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. I'm, I'll be honest, I don't see how that applies here. Well, we, had a knock, we heard a knock on the door this morning. We held our breath in fear, but we soon heard children's voices coming up from outside. Girl Scouts selling stuff. We don't have either of those things, so I guess. Move along, I guess. Oh, the, well, the girls were very brave to walk around the wasteland like that. Sadly, they didn't have anything of interest to us, so we declined their offer. They wished us a nice day and left. Timmy's very hungry and would like some water. Sure. It's not easy to claim. Oh, it's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully, we will keep, keep our peace or else we might need to act like wolves survival of the fittest dog. Well, Ted's not gonna win anything. Oh, let me guess. Abandoned. It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness into our lives. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they captured a woman whose description matched Dolores. 
<sighs> Dang it, Dolores. We don't think they'll let her go. We didn't make it. These are our final words. Our advice to anyone who reads this. Obscured writing. Yep. Yep, that, that sounds a bit about right. Well, okay then. You perished. Lovely. Well? You know what, that one sucked. I'm gonna try again. I'm really tempted to go screw family and not get any of them. I'm sorry. But the look on Mary Jane's face is priceless. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh. Yep. I didn't even make it to the shelter. Well, that was fun. Okay, one, one more time. One more time. If I completely fail on this one too, then I'm just giving up for today. And knowing that I'm a complete failure at the apocalypse. And I would probably die. Okay, let's hunt down at least some of my family. There's Timmy. Let's get Timmy, this water, and the radio first. This way. Oh my gosh, just throw them in the shelter. So much time trying to get this stupid axe. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good. I hope I got the lock. I don't know why I would need the lock, but I hope I got it. I don't think I got any food. Yeah, I got one can of soup. <sighs> All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. Blah, 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 blah. We got playing cards. We got much food. Nothing happens on day one. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, Tim is back. And Timmy got lots of stuff. Potentially. Uh, we may contact the mili 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 <laughs> militaries out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Timmy's back. He got a water. And Boy Scout book. Ammunition. Flashlight. Cool. You all can have a drink for that. Awesome service. Mary Jane can go outside this time. Just don't get radioactive while you're out. Um, survivors from the town of Hill Valley. Hmm, interesting. I guess we'll see where that phone goes. You guys are all fine. Joyful time in a sea of grief. It's Timmy's birthday today. Happy birthday. Just like last year, we waited till the last possible moment to get him a present. But this time our options are limited to whatever we can find in the shelter. He's getting a Boy Scout manual, which makes sense because I think he's a scout. Which would probably explain why he had a Boy Scout manual in the first place. Oh, Timmy's very sick. 
Oh. You don't know if Timmy is ever going to be a Boy Scout after the apocalypse, but the Scout Handbook is a deadly spider-killing weapon in his capable hands. He's having fun. Uh, it's better when things are calm. Um, you guys are fine, I guess. Or should I send out Timmy, because he's already sick? Yeah, send out Timmy, because he's already sick. <laughs> that sounds so bad. But I don't want anyone else getting sick. If they don't have to. Sorry, I can't give you food. Uh, been a while, we don't know if it's happening on the surface. I'm gonna try the radio again. Hopefully something will happen. <laughs> uh, weak signal. Fallout's mostly gone, that's good. I'll give Mary Jane food. I'm sorry. Oh, they're both gonna be like dead, aren't they? Not quite. Almost. Did me come back with some food? Uh, quite persistent. Sure. Well, it's the worst that can happen. We could all die. That's inevitable anyway. Oh, hello. We have food. Yay. Uh, yes. Are all of them sick? Or just Mary Jane? I think it might just be Mary Jane and Timmy that's sick. But yeah, we got more food and more water. So we can... Oh, and a gun and raid. That's awesome. And you can all have food. Because that is a thing that I can do now. And... Mary Jane will be going out tomorrow. This time asking us to get a flashlight and signal the plane after it gets dark. If all goes well, they'll find us. Hopefully this one actually works. Maybe? Oh, nope. Yeah, nope. Everything goes on pin, but then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get a fix just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engine. Pretty sure the pilot. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, Mary Jane right away. Timmy went crazy. They both died. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going back to little boy mode. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Oh. But anyway, that was 60 seconds. Um, next time, you know, I guess maybe I'll practice, like, going into the scavenge part and, like, practice scavenging for the stuff. Or maybe I'll just do survival next time. Um, I'm not really sure. Sorry, I keep yawning. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. And, thank you for your comments. Here's your program, your janitor capabilities. Look at that.